Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, uh, we have been on this VR fitness journey for the last three months. Before then, we were pretty much out of shape. We didn't do any Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, or MMA stuff for the last year, uh, since last March, I say. And uh, I remember first time playing throughout the fight after just being completely out of shape, right? Last October. Uh, I remember doing one rounds of it, and that almost killed me, right? It's like one match, not one round, one match versus a, I think it's like with a lower end opponent too. Um, I have played Throw the Fight before. I have played it on the HTC Vive all the way back in 2016. But this is the first, this is like the first series where I really played it on um, the quest or the quest two where you have freedom movement uh, much better visual if for those of you who don't know for the old uh, HTC Vive and headsets you have a green story effect so you really can't see the opponent that well with that being said uh, so I'm out of shape in terms of fighting shape because when you're training like day in day out you're training different type of muscle groups right like your punches are good uh, your arms are not sore uh, matter of fact, I did this fight challenge yesterday, the, the speed run of challenge yesterday, and today my arms are killing me. Um, with that being said, uh, so out of fighting sh shape, but in terms of in term of pure cardio, pure like just being overall fit, uh, I'm actually doing okay. <laughs> and, and what surprised me is I didn't know I was doing okay until I played uh, throughout the fight, did this challenge, right? So I've been doing about like an hour to two hour of VR exercise almost every day or every other day. But I didn't know I was really gonna be able to do this. Um, I've started noticing the pattern, like I started to believe in myself that I'm able to finish this challenge. Like I started just for the heck of it. I thought I was gonna gas out in the middle. I started believing that I was able to do this uh, right before up to this fight okay right up to this fight i think the first three to four opponents and i just kind of knocked them out i was surprised because the first time i played it in back in october i think it took me like two three rounds to knock out each individual like the first two three opponents and uh i was just having that in mind going into this challenge i was like oh man this is gonna be like difficult one thing i didn't know as i was playing this challenge was that um if you're hitting the enemy this is what i find online if i'm incorrect please let me know if you're hitting the enemy and you're hitting them with like blue you know jabs you see that like mark <laughs> i was trying to do a low kick there <laughs> but if you see that blue mark um that means that you're not doing any damage and i didn't know that so i i, I thought like oh yo man like let me just jab you tab you you know and so i threw a lot of like useless punches so my punch count might be a lot higher and another thing I just find it's too easy to abuse as I was playing the game was that um, instead of jabbing like straight, right? Instead of jabbing straight and using proper form, it's just much easier when you're doing this, right? So your brain always tell you like the easiest path, especially when you're playing a video game. Um, that's no excuse. So some of my form are pretty sloppy. It's a mixture of this plus this, right? So it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> so you would I would never pretty much do that in a real life sparring <laughs> so uh, but it works out really well in throw the fight so maybe this is a throw a fight punch in the future right but I do want to get stronger I think as I get stronger I could go back to my traditional stance and punches I think it would be a lot more effective um, first few games I I think I started out pretty well you know started with some good movements started out with some good punches and then as I progress into the game all forms out of the way right so i think it's up to about it's up to about this point where i was just kind of tired um and uh i started to think about strategies like what i want to do um and what i realized is when i'm doing a forward momentum oh this punch that punch right there <laughs> so that punch right there that was unexpected right so i did like a little like half superman type of a stretched out punch like a drunken fist wear punch um, so that one was unexpected and 
you know, I got lucky there. Like I knocked him out in one go. I was just like, oh man, like if this guy gets up like four times, like the first couple guys, I'm, I'm basically screwed. So up to this point, like I was just expecting, it, it just, it's, it's crazy. Like, like the last couple guys, they only lasted like one or two, two falls, like the countdowns. Um, if they counted like when they went through three to four countdowns, like the first couple guys, I would have been, I would have been gassed out. So with that being said, yeah, so my form was pretty much like getting sloppier. Um, my guards are down, right? So um, in traditional Muay Thai stands, our guard are all the way up here where, where your eyes are, right? So my guards like all the way down here. Um, but when I'm doing MMA, my guards are usually like over here still, right? So it's never <laughs> all the way down here. Um, that's what I could see. I remember Vega. Vega was... Uh, I just remember looking at Vega in the VR, and I was just like, this guy's skinny, I'm gonna knock him out. But then I see his six pack, and I'm just like, God, oh, maybe I don't wanna hit his abs because he probably are pretty strong over there, and he, this guy probably have a lot of stamina. And uh, maybe it's not that easy to knock him out. <clears throat> or actually, easy to knock him out, but he's gonna get back up again and again. And um, to my to my uh to my nightmare nightmare right like this guy just kept getting up and it's to the point where i punch so much like i would punch him over and over and this is what i didn't realize right like all the punches i was throwing was damn blue right so we're probably gonna redo this again understanding like better of the game mechanics and try to focus a lot more on my actual form too because i still don't feel i'm in like a fighting for shape um i feel like i need to do a lot more of my arms i need to do more like boxing games and focus on just you know throwing the right punches right not doing this this thing right here um yeah i was just trying to fast punch him i was trying to knock him out but a lot of the punches were just end up being blue right so i'm thinking i'm thinking like oh man i'm doing damage here boom 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 and vega was just probably laughing at me so but i do get lucky here and there land some yellow punches and uh and was able to knock a vega down and then we play money maker um what was crazy i don't like to talk about what was crazy about this whole experience is that I came into this thinking that I'm probably not gonna be able to do it, uh, just because my physicality from three months ago before I started this VR journey uh, wasn't there. Like I did one match, once again, did one match and was gassed out. And uh, I was able to go in and I was able to finish this whole thing. And partly because I was doing VR exercise, you know, for the last three months. So endurance buildup, stamina buildup, and it's hard to kind of grasp the idea. Right. If I went to like Muay Thai class every single day and I did this, I'm like, Psh, you know, I, I, I've, been, I've been working out. But it's just kind of weird to have your mentality like, oh, I've been playing game the last, th even though I knew I was going on a fitness challenge through VR, I was like, oh, I was playing video game for the last uh, three months. Am I going to be able to do this like semi sparring simulator that's kind of like real life, but kind of not? And uh, it was able to, you were able to, I was able to do it. So um, a couple takeaways, no more blue punches. <laughs> uh, tr tried to hit them as heavy as possible because blue doesn't mean, I think it's either not regist registering or it's not doing much damage. Right? I want to kind of do more movements, especially have this huge play space. Right? I want to do more movement. And at the same time, um, uh, I want to make sure my forms are right. Right? Uh, I think as I get stronger with those squ squats too, instead of punching down, I want to kind of like do more of a uh, squat, squat position, right? Squat. Every time I want to punch the stomach, I want to squat down instead of just tilting down like that. Uh, anyway, I think Money Maker got up once or twice. At this point, I was just exhausted. Oh no, Money Maker knocked me out. I totally forgot this part. <laughs> So, Money Maker knocked me out, right? I was just like doing that one, two, high, low, high, low jab like I did before to the other guys. And Money Maker just got mad and got up to me like, bah, bah, bah. and then I was, I was pretty much out. So, uh, I think at this point, I was just kind of afraid that he comes at me yet again. And the fact that we have done so many already and we're just, we didn't want to go back and redo the whole challenge. So, I was kind of like holding back and then going forward a little bit 
And uh, yeah, and I, you know, I, I think as like at the point of exhaustion where I'm just like, oh, get, you know, go go down already, go down already, and money marker, money maker goes down. So yeah, so the total time I have is a little bit over 54 minutes, I believe. Yeah, a little bit over 40, 54 minutes. Um, I know some people do it much faster. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know how fast you done this at or um, you know when you plan to uh, do this challenge at or when you, yeah we're gonna do this challenge otherwise this is Woody I hope you guys enjoyed this highlight this uh, kind of life commentary and uh, let me see if you want to see me do more challenge similar to this one uh, thanks for watching until next time Oh, subscribe, subscribe to my channel <laughs> and uh, like and comment <laughs> until next time. Take good care. Take good care of yourself. Peace.